guys so today I think I'm going to be making um, ground beef with uh, cabbage it's a dish my mom used to make she was diabetic and I learned how to make it it's really good you can also use this um, um, ingredient for egg rolls if you like whether you uh, wrap them in the wonton and drop them in the uh, grease or if you want to put them in the oven um, basically Pretty much it's a pretty light dish, so I really enjoy making it. Hope you guys like it. So while our ground beef is cooking, we're gonna finish chopping up one large onion, uh, some bell peppers. I'm not the best chopper, but I enjoy cooking. So I guess that's all that matters as well. It's very nice. different uh, bouillons when I'm cooking. They have chicken. They also have this beef uh, base. And you just mix it with some water and you're good to go. Alright, so we're going to add two cups of water. I'm going to turn this heat up. We're going to add two cups of water to this so our onions are able to cook down. We're going to add some beef bouillon to this. We're gonna let all that cook up together. Now you don't have to add the beef bouillon to this if you don't want. I just really like a lot of flavor uh, in my dish. Uh, some people just wait and add a little soy sauce. I will also be adding a little soy sauce later once we get our cooked up in here. So right now I'm just going to let this all cook up and get tender as far as the onions and the bell peppers. And I don't like my cabbage too big. added two cups of um, water because uh, cabbage sometimes tends to make its own juice so we don't want too much juice 
All right, we're gonna let that cook down for about 15 minutes, and then I'll come back and check and see how we're looking. All right, guys, let's check this. Ooh. All right, our cabbage has cooked down. to mix our meat with our cabbage. Now this is such a really good light dish. I mean the ground beef is heavy. You can um, add less ground beef or add turkey ground beef or turkey ground. But the onions, the bell peppers, all of those really the dish. Let's see, we're going to add um, a little soy sauce, and I like to use uh, La Choy soy sauce. And with the soy sauce, it is not necessary to add salt. Some people do. Um, not a nutritionist in that sense, so you do what you do. I just want you to enjoy the dish. And if you look at it, it's like I told you, you can use this in an egg roll, but um, we've done that before. But we just tend to eat ours straight out. Most times we may have some cornbread with it, something like that. It really makes a nice, hearty dish. All right, guys, so this is our finished dish. This is cabbage with ground beef. Uh, you can also use turkey ground, uh, which will also make it a little lighter. You can use more onions. You can use more bell peppers. You don't even have to dice them up. But in my family, we tend to dice up the onions and the uh, bell peppers. Kind of small, so you don't really see them. But this is a really light, delicious dish. You see, I didn't have to add any oils to it. The ground beef cooked down well. If it had have had oil in it, I would have drained it. But since it did not, when it cooked down, we were able to just move forward with the dish. So I hope y'all enjoy this. And uh, thanks for um, uh, hanging out with me today while we did another uh, From the Garden to the Kitchen with our bell peppers.